Okay, so this is just a really short, excited video. Uh, if you happen to have an old DSLR that can shoot video on it, uh, then you can now, all, as of all of a sudden, use a Canon DSLR specifically, and I'll put the models that can do it uh, in the description of this video. But if you have a Canon DSLR that can record video, as of right now, you can set it up as a webcam, which is what I'm using right now. Uh, I'll talk you through the sort of kit that you need for this. Uh, but importantly, uh, it doesn't pick up audio, so you'll need an external device for audio. If you don't have one, it's probably a waste of time setting this up. Uh, in the past, I've used uh, one of these Camlink, uh, Elgato Camlink things, as um, obviously that didn't focus on that, but I'll put it in in a second. Uh, importantly, that didn't give what's called a clean output, so you could sort of see the guidelines and the menus down the side and what mode you're in and all that sort of information, which obviously isn't essential and also very distracting, uh, but this gives us a very clean output and we can use online broadcasting software to do that. So I'll tell you what you'll need, and obviously that will require me uh, not using the nice camera, but I'll tell you what you need, how you set it up, and then hopefully you'll be able to try it out. Cheers. Okay, so what you'll need is, uh, for me anyway, um, one of these weird ones, a uh, mini, mini USB, very hard to find. Uh, I had to basically dig around uh, for a really old uh, hard drive that had uh, one of those cords. So one end is that, the other end is that. Uh, if you don't have it, you might need to buy one at Officeworks uh, or something similar. You'll need some kind of microphone. I use this little one, Samson Go Pro, Samson Go mic. Uh, really small, fits in your kit bag pretty easily. Um, so you'd probably, you're just checking for whatever inputs you have. Um, so for me, uh, that was the one that worked. Uh, it also has a mini HDMI, but for this purpose, uh, that didn't work for me uh, because uh, presumably it's a, it's a connecting as a webcam rather than just communicating video. Uh, so all you need to do is uh, you look up the specific models, which will obviously be in the description. Uh, you download that to your computer, not to your device, uh, to your camera rather, uh, and that'll just set you up with what you need and mean that your camera can accept it as a input. And um, for me, that means like a dramatic improvement in uh, video quality. Obviously, if you're using it for video meetings, that probably won't matter because most video conferencing software uh, compresses the hell out of stuff anyway so that it... Um, can be easier to, you know, less stress on their servers and such. Uh, but for improving the quality of your video, I think it's a it's an amazing boon, and I'm really excited to uh, use it as an alternative to what I've been using up until this point. So, cheers.